What's up YouTube, Redbeard's Garage, and welcome back to another video. I got a requested video, how to wire up a kill switch for a Predator engine. Now the engines come with a kill switch made on the, the uh, pull start cover. So what I always do is unhook that actually and run it up to a toggle switch. So I'll go through everything you'll need to uh, complete this on this video. Okay, we have this old Predator up on the workbench. Now the first thing we're going to do is take this 8 millimeter bolt off and then pull this ground out and then put the bolt right back because we're going to get rid of this switch altogether. Now you can leave this switch in the uh, process but you'll just have to make sure to turn it on as well as the switch you're running to the front of the go-kart or the engine won't start. Now if you look right here you'll see this bundle of wires and right up above it is the oil sensor. Now inside the engine is the mechanism that controls the oil sensor. So basically these engines was, was made for pressure washers and generators so if they got knocked over then that sensor would run dry and not sense any oil and kill the engine so you wouldn't seize up your engine. On a go-kart that's not good because if you're especially an off-road go-kart because you went, when you get on uneven ground, it's going to slosh oil away from that sensor from the go-kart bouncing around and whatnot. So you want to get rid of this if it's off-road go-kart. On-road go-karts are pretty, uh, are normally fine, but I get rid of them all together because it's just one thing you don't have to worry about. So what you're going to do is undo this clip right here. Usually they come out pretty easy. Um, sometimes you can push them to the side like that and get them out. I always just take a set of pliers and uh, grab a head grab the head of it and just pull on it a little bit then you can pull all these wires out right here okay now as you can see we got all these wires uh, pulled out so we can see what they're running to this is going inside the engine to that oil sensor we talked about what I always do is just cut it off flush and then unplug this right here to uh, remove this oil sensor box and that will be an eight millimeter uh, bolt right there you can remove and then I always put the bolt back in because you can later use that for something else Okay, now we have that oil sensor removed and that wire is cut pretty much flush uh, in there. And we also went ahead and pulled this wire holder out. Uh, if you just grab it with a set of pliers and give it a slight tug, it'll pop right out of the uh, little hole in this sheet metal. So now we can take a flathead screwdriver and just be gentle so you don't beat and ding up this uh, cover. And you can pop this switch off if you're going to remove this. If not, you can leave this ground that was behind this bolt up here if you're going to leave this. On the little red go-kart, I left this as well as put the toggle switch up front just for a uh, secondary precaution. But now, if you're going to leave this switch, like I said, just don't undo this ground. And then you can take a wire with a male bullet connector just like this, and that'll plug right in to that socket right there. So as you can see, it slides right in. It might be hard to do this one-handedly I'm sure okay so once you plug that up now you can run the line up to the front of your go-kart and put a, a a spade connector on it and plug it right to the toggle switch and then run that run another line from the other post on the toggle switch out with a ring terminal on it and hook that up to a ground and then as soon as you ground this what it does is ground the cool that is located on this side behind this cover and that's what sends the, the spark to the spark plug through the spark plug wire and to the spark plug, the current. So what you're doing is just grounding out that coil so it cannot produce the spark anymore. Okay, now if you're going to remove the switch, all you need to do is get that flathead in behind it and then it'll pop right out. And then unplug it from that connection right there. And then just put this bullet connector into that plug instead of on the end of this one. Guys, I just wanted to make this real quick video. I uh, had a subscriber ask for it uh, a day or so ago. So tell me what you think of these little quick videos. Uh, ask me for a video and I'll make it. I'm going to do another video real uh, soon on how to do the throttle linkages in different types of way. I'm waiting on one more thing to come in and I'll knock that video out for you. So don't forget to check out my other videos, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and check me out on Facebook. This is Red Beards Garage, and I'm out.